Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here to join me once again. Thank you for taking the time to visit and watch my news. Maybe because it's Friday, December 5th, 2025, but I thought I would cover some odd news, some strange news. I hope you enjoy it. How many of have, have, have you heard the saying that sometimes people are talking out of their butts or they're full of hot air? Well, new research about butt breathing <laughs> just may save some people's lives in the future. Imagine a person who has lung damage and doesn't get enough air, oxygen to keep them alive, or someone who may be really sick and can't be put on a ventilator. Your butt or their butt just may save their life. No, seriously, scientists are now giving people oxygen through their butts. I thought this was one of the strangest medical breakthroughs that I've heard about for a very long time. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me once again. I want to give a shout out to some people who've sent me PayPal donations. One of them being Deborah. Yeah, keep her in her prayers. She recently had hip surgery and is now walking without pain. Praise God, right? Also, a shout out to Brian and Mrs. Clug who sent me two pounds of coffee. I made a fresh pot of it using that new coffee. And it is really good. Yummy. Thank you very much. Long before humans got the idea, some animals were already butt-breathing pros. Take the Fitzroy River turtle in Australia, where ponds freeze over in the winter, and this turtle can stay underwater for three months without coming up for air. How, you might wonder? Well, it pumps water in and out of its butt, the same hole that it poops from. And special blood vessels in there suck the oxygen right out of the water like a giant built-in gills. Sea cucumbers take it to another level. They literally breathe with their butts. They have these things called respiratory trees that look like white broccoli branches inside their butts. They rhythmically fill them with seawater, grab the oxygen, and shoot the water back out. Some fish even swallow air and absorb it through their intestine when the pond gets really nasty, dirty. Uh, yeah, they can use that oxygen from their stomachs to breathe. Maybe you've had an aquarium at home where you had what's called bottom feeders, loaches, for cleaning up the debris. They also can swallow air to su supplement their gill breathing in low oxygen water. A team of scientists came up with this really amazing new um, data in experiments with mice and pigs and a moth of a special liquid called Perfolia thallium. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. was injected up their butts and it was found that it boosted their oxygen levels. Each 400 millimeter dose of this liquid boosted pigs' oxygen level for about 19 minutes at a time. Reports in 2023 showed that the technique could improve the animal's oxygen level for up to a half an hour. In 2024, the work won the Big Nobel Prize, a cheeky award for science that makes people laugh and then think, thank you so much for believing in the potential of the anus. Here's how it works. The liquid can hold 50 times more oxygen than blood plasma. You gently pump a few hundred millimeters into the rectum with a tube, basically a high-tech enema, where the lining of your lower colon is super thin and packed with blood vessels. Oxygen jumps from the liquid into those vessels in seconds. It hitches a ride to the heart and spreads everywhere. This year, the first human safety trials have been done. 27 healthy Japanese guys volunteered to get the uh, enemas, where they held it inside their butts for about an hour before releasing the liquid. Four of the men in the um, testing um, held 1.5 liters of the liquid. They had to release it early due to stomach pain. But most of those who got up to one liter fared pretty well. Bloating and mild tummy discomfort aside, 
showed that their oxygen levels actually boosted. The next step in the testing is to give the oxygenized version to real ICU patients whose lungs are toast. Think, uh, you know, severe pneumonia. Or say there's a situation where there's not enough ventilators. This isn't meant to replace lungs. It's a bridge. If your oxygen saturation is crashing at 70% and nothing else works, a 15-minute butt top off could buy hours or days for your lungs to recover. From disasters, maybe a war zone, or the next pandemic when ventil ventilators run out, this could be done with a bottle and a tube almost anywhere. Doctors are already joking about the consent form line. Do you consent to enteral ventilation, viva anus? Patients in trials apparently just laughed and said, if it keeps me alive, go for it. One researcher said people will do anything. We could call it a medical procedure instead of butt breathing. So the next time t someone tells you that you're full of hot air, you can actually say, um, I might need some of that down there one day to stay alive. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.